the last case that we'll go through here is a 56 year old with word finding difficulty and dysmetria. So here you have a couple of images from a head CT. You have this area of uh, hypodensity here. Uh, if you go on to an MR, what you see is uh, there's kind of edema, and it, interestingly, it's crossing the tentorium. So you have some edema here in the left uh, cerebellar hemisphere, as well as the left uh, inferior parietal and occipital lobes. Here it also looks like you've got some abnormality in the, in the right thalamus there. Now on post-contrast imaging, this is a post-contrast uh, coronal image. Uh, what I'll point out to you is some um, asymmetry of the transverse sinus here, so definitely keep, keep your eye on that. Uh, the ADC is looking, uh, looking normal there. So here we're looking at multiple lesions, or at least we think there's probably multiple lesions. We're looking at the cortical temporal lobe and the adjacent cerebellum. Uh, this patient's 56 years old. Uh, the history that I hadn't given you yet, so this patient's had a history of DVT once you looked into it a little more closely. That makes you think this patient uh, has a coagulation abnormality, so that's something that you've got to think about. And uh, that goes along with what we're seeing here. So what this triangular abnormality that we're seeing here is this non-filling of the transverse sinus right at the transverse sigma junction. That's probably a thrombus in the, uh, in the transverse sigma junction there. Uh, so anytime you have infarcts or hemorrhage in an unusual distribution, so that crossing the tentorium there was very unusual. Uh, the combination there was a little bit unusual involving the right basal ganglia, uh, as well as the cerebral and the cerebellar hemispheres. Uh, so you've got to look at the dural sinuses. Cortical vein thrombosis can be very difficult to see, but you definitely want to check the bigger sinuses. These are associated with hypercoagulable states and birth control, uh, as well as a number of other things. Uh, so there's a huge list, but uh, these are just some of the things you have to think about. This patient had a history of DVT, so we know that they're in some ways prone to getting uh, getting thrombus.